What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Nightmares from the Deep 2, The Siren's Call. In the last episode, we just unlocked this box and... Hold on, can I click on this again? No. Uh, we just unlocked this box and there was a picture of a statue and we also got some gunpowder. Now, I've been doing some thinking. It's been a couple of days since I've played this. But I was thinking about some of the stuff that we learned in the last episode. Um, and I was thinking about it. But, oh, actually, for a recap first. Uh, in the last episode, we... What do we do? We... Uh, Calliope got kidnapped. She got taken away in a pretty cool... Um, uh, like, fish tank carriage, which was pretty cool. Uh... We spoke to an old guy who's got like a, he's, who's blind and he wants some, I think he wants some rum, so we got to get that for him. But he was also a fishman, and some of the stuff that he said, uh, it seemed like the entire village, or this entire place has been cursed. Um, so, I'm, I was thinking about like, that he said that, what that means, and I'm wondering whether the people of this village weren't originally fishmen and mermaids and stuff. So, I don't know, kind of curious as to see how that goes. Maybe they're like... Because cause this game feels like it's inspired by... Um, the Pirates of the Caribbean series. And this one seems to be inspired specifically by maybe the second movie. I'm wondering whether the people in this village are... Uh, a turn to fishmen in the same way the the crewmates on Davy Jones' ship in Pirates of the Caribbean kind of grew all of that kind of coral and became fish people on his ship. I wonder if there's going to be a parallel there. Um, so what else did we do? Uh, there's a bunch of cool puzzles that we, we worked out. Um, oh yeah, old mate with the octopus statue seemed to be able to wield that statue in a way that kind of like... Uh, originally he... He, he blew it like a trumpet or something? Or maybe he just held it up in the air. Maybe I'm imagining that. Uh, but he was able to command the uh, uh, the Kraken with it. But then, later, in the last episode, we saw him also make a, a gate. Kind of like a, uh, a gateway or like a way to block the, that gate uh, out of it. So, I, I wonder whether the, the octopus is more like a... Like a a magical vessel or some kind of magical channel that channels just magic energy and I wonder whether the mayor got it from Davy Jones and then uh, and is using the magic to kind of control these people and to become mayor of this place so yeah there's a few things that I was thinking about about the story it's kind of interesting to see how it's panning out um, but I'm I'm definitely curious to see how this turns out. Last time, uh, in the last series, uh, we didn't really predict the ending. The ending wasn't uh, what I was expecting. So I'm hoping that this ending will also deviate from what I'm expecting. Since I'm kind of seeing these parallels with uh, with Pirates of the Caribbean, I'm wondering how they're going to make it their own and kind of change it up like they did with the last one. Um, but that's me talking for a, a way too long. Let's just get straight back into it. So we just opened up this box and we got the gunpowder. And we got a picture of the statue. So I'm thinking the gunpowder has to do with the statue. Because it said we had to open it. So I don't know if we have to like blow it up. Or like maybe we have to craft this into a bomb and like explode the statue or something. Um, so there's that. We also have to get the thing for... Uh, we have to get the rum for old mate. Uh, who requested rum. We got a wrench. Lighter, what is this? Rebel symbol. Hmm. Oh yeah, we also got... We also got old mate's dagger. So I don't know if this is going to be like a... Um... One of those items that kind of sticks around for most of the game. Or whether we're going to lose it. I remember in the last... In the last game, we only really kept items for maybe, maybe two uses, I think, at the most. So, 
Uh, we'll see. We'll see how how many uses we get out of this. Uh, but yes, okay, we need to go to the statue. That's what I want to try first. Since we just got this. Let's grab the gunpowder. There we go. Oh, we're just gonna, like, burn the entry? Yeah, oh, okay. Uh, lighter fluid. Oh, right, we needed, there was a, a lighter, hold on. Uh-huh, I think I'm figuring it out. So, for some reason, we couldn't pick up the lighter until we got the lighter fluid. So we get the lighter fluid now. Let's have a quick look around to see if we can use this on anything else first. I'm going to assume not. Let's, let's just light it. Blast open this mother sucker. Boom! Oh. Is this a door? Yeah. Token, so I gotta put these in there. Alright, uh, this goes here. It's here. I swan the gauze. Uh, here? Do these have to turn? Oh, wait, hold on, that's not the right spot. That goes there, this one goes there? Yeah. There. This one goes up here. That one. Wait, there's a. Oh, yeah, there. <laughs> Easy. Secret chamber. Oh my god, the, the audio, the, the audio was before the visual, so because it was before it, I wasn't actually expecting the monkey's face. You, well, look, we got another reference to Pirates of the Caribbean, we got a monkey. Get I mate, what's your name? Oh, oh, you want, you want this? No? Oh. With this? No? Alright. <gasps> Aha! We found... We got another dude. Guardian... Uh, guardian chest dude. Oh, he's a fishman too. Interesting. The other guy was kind of like a skeleton well, dude. Well, well. So. Someone knew I was getting tired of that high and mighty man. But you see, I shouldn't talk to strangers. Uh -huh. Maybe Jones orders. So either you give me one of those golden fish, or that's the end of our little chit chat. Oh, is that what this is? Ah. All right. So we got another dude. This time he takes fish coins to the balloons. What are we going to learn? A long, long time ago, when the golden age of piracy was coming to an end, the town of Kingsmouth was founded by pirates who decided to quit the trade, and who had money aplenty and families. The town, considered weird and unpleasant from the start, made ends meet. Until the gathered treasures ran out. So they weren't making ends meet. Because <laughs> they were spending more than they were bringing in. So that's not making ends meet. That's living beyond your means. Okay, so this used to be a pirate town? Oh, Old Mate made a deal with Davy Jones to... 
interesting to to acquire power and wealth to keep the city I want hmm interesting so is the curse like good is they trying to do good oh oh is this the rum oh the rum well old mate's gonna be happy what's this uh traitor wait yep traitor between my uh praetor praetorian pre praetorians yes i'm going to assume that's the word because if it's not i whatever um thanks to the uh thanks to the kraken the business is going smooth Unleashing the beast on passing ships is ah is easier than working. I'm amazed we've uh, I'm amazed we even tried to live as common men. <laughs> okay, so he made a deal to get the, the statue. So maybe it does control the kraken, and maybe it has some additional powers. Um, and they're using so they're obviously using that to get the treasure. That makes sense. But not everyone is happy. Uh, one of the pray. Oh wait, hold on. what? One of the. Pra hold on, is this the same word just spelt wrong? Praetorians. <laughs> okay, well, fair enough. Uh, but <laughs> no, but not everyone is happy. One of the Praetorians responsible for guarding Calliope is acting suspiciously. Did the siren poison him with her voice? I hope I hope he won't try anything treacherous and stupid like kidnapping her. Well, he clearly knew, so he's somewhat observant. Interesting, that's good. Yeah, that's good for a leader. A leader needs to be observant. Okay, so old mate fell in love with the with the siren. Um, wait, let's read that again. Responsible for guarding Calliope is acting suspiciously. So this is still a question mark. Like, I get the whole Kraken thing and uh, bringing in money for their port that way. But then where does Calliope come in? Did he kidnap her? Um, is she his daughter? Interesting questions to, to be said. Alright. Oh! Wait, does that mean there's other things like that around? I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to keep an eye out. All right, all right, chill, chill, chill. Uh huh. Okay. Well, oh, corner piece goes down here. Where was this? Oh, okay. One of the things is missing. We can't do that yet. Let's give old mate his rum. Maybe he can impart some wisdom onto us. G'day, mate. Give me a bottle of rum. The tavern's run out, and I need something strong to ease my mind. Thanks. Oh. Come in. <laughs> I thought it was just going to walk away. Thanks. Close this door. <laughs> Session later, let's talk to him first. Thanks for the rum. You seem decent enough, so I won't mince my words. We settled Kingsmith to quit the pirate racket and live ordinary lives as fishermen and sailors. But the dream ended 
when we spent all our ill-gotten treasures and the first hardships appeared on the horizon. To save us, Mayor Murray signed a pact with that cunning sea devil, Davy Jones. As payment, Jones gave him the mermaid siren, Calliope. Murray oh. stole Calliope's flowers, and now he leads the town with an iron fist. We tried to oppose him, but he was stronger. The only thing left of the good old days are memories like this photo. Take it. I don't want it anymore. All right, bet. Okay, so he's using her powers. Okay, that makes more sense. Because, like, mermaids and stuff, apparently, are said to have power over... over the Kraken. So that makes sense. Because that's in uh, different folklore as well. They use, actually, they use the, that same kind of idea in One Piece. Uh, with the, the fish mermaid. Spoilers, if you haven't watched that. <laughs> Um, okay, so she's controlling it. She's got the power. So, I wonder if the... The octopus statue... Like, why that's involved. Is that where her power is? Or did he, like, steal it and put it in a statue? Um... Is she, does she not have powers? It was just the fact that she had the statue? Like, I'm, I've got questions. Alright. A uh, barrel with tap. This guy right here. Is it tap? Fish skeleton, uh, skeleton. I was gonna say skeleton. <laughs> Denture. Oh, I need the other half. Um, we got the fork. Drop a glass. A sponge. A banana, or a banana, as it said in Australia. A hand, a handset. Like a phone. Oh, yeah, they're right there. A brush. I mean, that's a broom. Brush, 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 brush. And a signet. Oh, is it in here? Whoops. Too many clicking. All right, all right. Now right, we get the other denture and the signet ring, which is right there. There's a tiny moth and a brush. Where is a brush? Right there. Oh, we got a banana. Oh, it's for the monkey. Right. What else is in here? Fish tentacle boat thing. Okay, so we're gonna fill this in. Wait, what does it say down here? I take loose pieces from. Oh, I see. This is cool. See, I like the I like the new ed edition of puzzles that we've got in this. And the 
wheel. It's a wheel. That's right. Take those keys. That might be for the 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 store. Yeah, newspaper. Although we tried really hard, uh, we, the former pirates, weren't able to sustain ourselves as decent fishers, traders, and farmers. Hold on, hold on. We needed to. We needed a lot more time. To let out, to let go of our bad habits. But Mayor Murray was hasty, and at first sign of King's Mouth decline, he proposed a plan. Some of the older residents heard about Davy Jones, the mystical sea devil, and feared him as an omen. Of misfortune. Murray didn't hesitate and struck a deal with David Jones. With all our souls at stake, at first the siren amazed us. Her voice made the fish literally swim to our nests. To our nets. Okay, so she does have power. Okay. We were grateful for the mayor and agreed to build our town's fortune on the siren's mis misery. <laughs> but the greed was awoken, and many residents with Murray among them set their sights on even greater catches. Then the kraken showed up, the beast at the command of the mayor started to pray. The fish curse came as a punishment for our crimes. Wait, what? Let me reread that. The Kraken showed up the beast at the command of the... Oh. So, was he using that against them? His power? Whether we directly involve... Wait. Whether we were directly involved or just slightly comply with atrocities taking place in the King's Mouth, I was marked too. Without, without nothing to lose, I started to back up rebellions, uh, rebellious movements against the mayor. Okay. So, huh. Me doing the voice means I don't I can fully interpret what I'm reading. The fish. The fish curse came as a punishment for our crimes. So they were pirates, and then if they did something wrong against the mayor, he turned them into fishmen? Is that, is that what that is? Whether we were directly involved or slightly comply, or just slightly comply with atrocities taking place in Kingsmouth. Okay. So we use that as like a way to... Instead of jail, you get punished by being turned into a fish man. But then, why is he a fish man? <laughs> He's like a shark. Interesting. Maybe it's not him invoking the punishments. Maybe it's like some other fire force. Maybe, it, maybe it's the mermaid. Okay, interesting. Interesting indeed. And... Oh. A mug, a lock, wait, I think. A boot. Oh, these are just different types of mugs. Uh-huh. That's kind of cool. Someone secured the cash register by hiding the buttons. Is this one? No. Okay. So 
you're gonna get a bunch of buttons. I like how these all moved out of the way after. I don't see anything. Okay, so what do we have now? We got the banana, we got the newspaper key. We've got a photo. Still got a wrench and stuff. Let's head up this way. Wait, was the was paper place here? No, it must have been up. Here. Here we go. Let's go in here first. A bit of a twist, a bit of a nudge. We got it in. We can't see a bloody thing. Give it a rotate, shall we? It spins alright, but it doesn't seem to do anything in particular. Okay, so I have to get a light. Can I use a torch? Oh, I can! Typewriter keys. Oh, can I knock this over? Oh, I really want to knock that over. piece, put it over there, another one put it over there, we've got a photo. Oh, oh something did something, this did. This bl uh, blank paper can be useful, can it? I should probably look at what I need. Typewriter key, postcard, uh, scissors, it's all over there. Glasses, or them there. Teacups, or right there. Tissue. Oh. Circle. A hat. That was up here. A bulb. Right here. Another brush. Right there. Alright, we got everything. What do we get? We got a light bulb. Aha. Uh -huh. Let's screw in the light bulb. Take that out, put that in. Bada bing, bada boom. Uh huh. Very cool. I'm loving the, the increased amount of interactions we're getting. Whoa, what the heck is that? <laughs> That's an angry looking guy. Toy soldier, I guess that makes sense. Use the boat to smash the door. Well, okay. I will indeed do that. Ha! How did... Whoever burnt this... Wait. Wait, the door's different, isn't it? Is it the... Is it the coral one? I can't remember. I have to have a look. Aha! Uh -huh. Put this up here. I rearranged this photo to create a larger photo. Right. Oh, 
hold, hold on, that goes down there. This one goes there. That feels right. Over there. This must go here. Let's go. Oh. don't need no hints, thank you. I was figuring it out. Looks like we got a missing symbol like this thing. Aha! Uh -huh. Ooh! Oh, man had a secret thing under his statue, but we got a whole secret room in a building. What is it? Printing press? It's an electric printing. So it looks like It looks like we're probably going to need some kind of ink. All right. Well, you know, what? I'm gonna I'm gonna leave the episode here. We're gonna end it here because we've got a secret room that we're gonna go into. So that makes a good cliffhanger. We'll watch down in the room. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm gonna end it here because we we've reached the half an hour mark, and I don't want to go too far over the time. Uh, but yeah. Uh, this episode has been really interesting. We've been discovering, so I came in with it with a bunch of questions, and I think most of my questions have kind of been answered um, from what we were left with. I still have more, obviously, um, but most of the questions, like, uh, what does the octopus statue do? It seems like it has similar powers, but I think what's going to happen is that Calliope is going to actually be the one who has the power to kind of stop old mate so we're gonna free her and I don't know uh, exactly what might happen but we're, I assume that she's probably going to stop him some way shape or form whether she ends up commanding the the Kraken or not so that's gonna be interesting I'm also curious as to how how the residents have been turned into fishmen like if that's the power of the, the of Calliope, that's a pretty crazy power. She's doing it, but then why would she have a power like that? Right. So I've got some I've got some more questions. It's cool. It's cool seeing the uh, the story kind of pan out and seeing the little the little nods to where they get the inspiration from for certain things. Um, with this. The whole Kraken, Davy Jones, and the Fishmen, and all that sort of stuff. It's like taking the the story that was in uh, Pirates of the Caribbean and just kind of using it as inspiration to write their own story. Uh, and I, I love seeing that kind of thing with the the way that uh, because like throughout throughout all of time, there's going to be stories that have inspired stories that have inspired stories. It's like almost like an infinite loop of one story inspires the next story, which inspires the next story, so kind of like, it passes it down, but the same core ideas are kind of the same. And I like seeing different interpretations of different ideas and stuff, it's really cool, because it gives me ideas for my own, uh, for my own games, my own stories and stuff. Uh, seeing how other people view their idea, because some, some people will, like, you'll think of like, vampires or werewolves or like these standard monsters and then somewhere along the way someone will come up with a new spin on that idea and I'll like change it up a bit just to make it a little bit more uh it'll be different and unique but it's still the same idea it still comes from the same thing but it's it's like reinvented in a way I, I love seeing that um so yeah I, I think we've got a lot of stuff to do in the next episode we're gonna give the the banana to the monkey uh, we got another coin to hand in to Old Mate, so we'll probably do those two things next as well. Uh, either we'll do that first, or we'll go downstairs, we'll see. Um, we, got a, we got a toy soldier we got to collect, we still got a wrench, we got a bunch of stuff, but we have to hook up the boat to smash it through the gate. Seems to be the play, the next play, to move forward. Um, 
so that's what we're going to do in the next episode so if you guys enjoy the series and you're enjoying the the story and if you have any like of your own ideas maybe you're following this story along with me and you've never played this i'm curious to kind of hear what you speculate the story might be um so if you're if you have your, your own ideas, leave them in the comments. Maybe if you had some ideas and they've kind of changed as we've learned more. Uh, what were they before we learned some more stuff? Uh, did you kind of guess some of the stuff that uh, we've learned? I'll leave, leave all of that stuff down in the comments. I'm going to read through that. I'm, I'm interested to hear what you guys have to, you guys have to say on that. Um, don't forget to also leave a like if you're not subscribed already. Remember to subscribe. That helps me out a bunch. Helps me kind of get these videos out there uh, and seen by more people so uh if you guys have subscribed and you've liked thank you so much for doing that because that helps me out a bunch um and yeah and we're going to be back in the next episode and we're going to figure all of this stuff out but thank you guys again thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next episode